Welcome back to another episode of Exponential Africa, where we are in the beautiful city of Prague at the Singularity U Czech Summit. We are so lucky to have Amin Tufani with us today, who is the CEO and founder of T-Labs and the, and, the, and the chair for finance and, and economics at Singularity University. Amin, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. So, I mean, you, you've been involved with creating new types of frameworks and new types of business models and, and you've, it, you've created this framework called Exonomics. Do you want to tell us a little bit about what it is and, and how it works? Absolutely. So the basic idea is because of exponential technologies, a lot of our assumptions about how economies function, how business models operate, and how individuals optimize their choices no longer seem to hold true. So we realize, and we as my wife and I were a team, we we're co-writing the book, we realize that conventional economics doesn't provide enough answers. We need to revisit a lot of assumptions about economics to understand how exponentials are impacting all of these dynamics. We call this framework exponential economics or exonomics. And within it, we also focus on innovation ideas that are leading to exponential business models. How businesses can reinvent themselves or how startups can capture new value in the market using the framework that we call exonomics. Amazing, because I mean, the old way of doing business is, is, is definitely being disrupted. If you're a legacy organization, you have a real chance of being disrupted by the, one of these new types of exponential uh, companies. Absolutely. And what we've noticed is if a company is successful today, they don't necessarily have the propensity to think about disruption the way they should. When things are working out, it's very hard to be adaptable. When things are not working out, anybody can be adaptable because you've got to come up with something new. So this is where past success tends to get in the way of future success. And that's why the conversation around adaptability is so core to exonomics. We understand that the world is changing exponentially, right? But if change is accelerating, the strongest predictor of your success becomes your ability to respond to that change. Right, to notice the change, to understand it, and react to it properly. And recent research has shown that beyond the first two years on the job, IQ does not predict success. So we decided to come up with this concept of AQ for adaptability quotient, because if the world is changing exponentially fast, it's all about how you can respond to change. And we believe in a stack model of intelligence. At the base, we have IQ. It still matters. On top of that, we have EQ for emotional intelligence. And on top of that, we have AQ for adaptability quotient. But one of the most important insights from our research early on was that AQ seems to be highly coachable. Unlike IQ, which tends to be fixed, you're stuck with it for your own life. So that is the encouraging part of this conversation for us. And that is why we focus on boosting companies, organizations, and individuals' adaptability. Yeah, I love the quote from Stephen Hawking where he says, intelligence is the ability to adapt to change. Yeah. With this adaptability quotient, you've come up with this, this other term called ligometry. Yeah. What is it? So you see, in the in the boosting process of adaptability, if you want to increase adaptability, one of the most important first steps is to destabilize assumptions. What we think we know about the world, right? <clears throat> the fastest way you can destabilize your assumptions is to think about what you know you don't know. And we call this, we have to coin a term for this, we call it ligometry, LIGO is shadow metrics quantification. And effectively, think about a circle. <clears throat> Inside the circle is everything you know. Outside the circle is everything you don't know. The edge of the circle are the open questions. And the open questions are a gold mine, things you know you don't know. The problem is most of us don't like to touch those. Most organizations don't touch that edge of the circle because it's a bit of a, you know uncomfortable area to acknowledge things you know you don't know. We think this is the fastest way of potentially boosting your AQ by destabilizing presumption of knowledge, things we thought we knew. But once you create a safe environment for people to talk about things they know they don't know, we see this takeoff effect on adaptability. Amazing. So you have to unlearn everything you've learned in order to be adaptable and agile enough to, to get be ready for this change and Absolutely. thrive in this change. Unlearning is the core part of adaptability. It's the strongest predictor of how well you can respond to change. The very thing that made you successful in the past is the thing that is going to get in the way of your future success. Amazing, so incredible. And you know, I'm in, I'm in Tufani, you're going to be coming to speak at Exponential Finance in May, Absolutely. which is really exciting, in, in Cape Town on the 29th and 30th of May. And, uh, and you've also founded this new business called T-Labs. Yeah. Do you want to tell us a little bit about T-Labs? Absolutely. So T-Labs is a company that my wife and I, 
Elena and I co-founded, we decided to put all of our life savings into projects that we cared about. So we're focusing on AQ, for, for instance, quantifying adaptability and boosting adaptability. The Exonomics Framework and the book that is going to come out this year is part of, <coughs> pardon me, part of T-Labs as well. Another project that we're working on is stage zero cancer detection. If you detect cancer that early, survival rates shoot up, people don't die as much. So these are projects that we felt we felt compelled to invest in. And again, it's all invested out of pocket. And we're hoping to release some of these projects either as non-profits or for-profit efforts. Amazing, so exciting. And uh, you know, we've been very fortunate for you to be on the show. Thanks so much. We look forward to seeing you in Cape Town. And thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Looking forward to it. Awesome. Absolutely. Thanks. If you, if you like this, make sure to subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one. <laughs>